Researchers at the University of Cincinnati have just released new research on stroke recovery. They also have an important warning about early intervention. Medical reporter Liz Bonas shares what we need to know. Liz? Hey guys, hello to you. Researchers are finding new ways to help us get stroke smart, you might say. This helps in patient recovery. Researchers at the University of Cincinnati are now studying how backward treadmill walking may help stroke survivors move forward. As this video, courtesy of UC Health shows, many athletes and others in training walk backward on a treadmill to build strength and agility. Now the team at UC Gardner Neuroscience Institute saying that they think this practice could help patients who've experienced a stroke learn to walk again. Researchers say they are conducting research to see how this backward walking impacts what they call sensory signaling in the brain. It's all part of a grant from the American Academy of Neurology. They say they're trying to see if it will help stroke survivors improve balance so they don't fall. It may also help with the speed of walking as well. Right now, researchers say they are not sure just how exercise interacts with the central nervous system. This also, of course, is a reminder that the best way to reduce our own odds of disability from a stroke is to know the early warning signs. Here's Dr. Brett Casella with UC and the American Heart Association. Please let this be an announcement to anyone. If you think you're having any sort of stroke-like symptoms, think of the fast mnemonic face being droopy on one side, arm, you can't hold your arms up uh, on one side, speech, your speech is not right, it's slurred, or you can't understand or speak. Uh, it's time to call 911 and get to the emergency room, and it is safe to come to the hospital. We're paying great attention to safety. Um, if you need to be treated, you need to come in here. That is really an important note right now. There's been a significant drop in timing for people getting to the emergency room with a stroke. A delay of just 15 minutes, new research shows, can make a huge difference in recovery. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus. We'll throw it back to you.